So we're stepping into Supreme Week 11, and this might be the first week I don't go for shit, bro. There's nothing on this list that's really speaking volumes to me, so I might have to sit this one out. I haven't decided yet, but if y'all do end up enjoying this video, leave a like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and would enjoy more of this type of content. Click the post notification bells, and while you're down there, go ahead and check out one nori on Instagram. That's my brand's official Instagram, which we started up a couple days ago. If y'all support me in any way, go ahead and follow that i am gonna have some news shortly but with all that being said let's get straight to it so first on this list we got the mlb kanji teams balaclava i feel like this one actually doesn't appear that bad from the picture we have so far basically has supreme over the top then i'm assuming it's gonna have a bunch of different team logos going across the balaclava for me it's a little bit too loud and i recently bought one anyway so i'm gonna sleep on this one but for those of y'all who are trying to gear up for the winter you feel me this is a clean cop second up we got the brian vega radio cube this one actually looks clean but knowing supreme this bitch is gonna retail for like 200 dollars, and i'm not having it this week this almost looks like a supreme lunchbox pill type speaker and i think it's clean i do have a couple questions for the speaker like does it have bluetooth is it only aux could you recharge it these are all questions that are running through my head with this speaker but it's clean you feel me the design aspect of it is hard well i decide to go for it on release maybe if it's under 100 but if it's anywhere over that it's a solid pass for me after that we got the rocket sweater this one comes in two different colors and i actually feel like this one's hard literally has a rocket ship that says supreme on it fly me to the moon head ass this one has the supreme logo on it like i said before nothing too special but i see why it would be higher on the list it's something different coming from supreme it's on a knitted sweater a nice little gray Graphic, nothing too crazy so i'm kind of fucking with this one especially in that sky blue that shit caught me by surprise i feel like it's clean with that sky vibe on it let me know if y'all gonna be going for this one i think it's solid i just don't know if i'd be picking it up next we got the unseen kanji teams t this one's basically gonna have a bunch of different mlb logos on it at least from what i know well like some japanese vibes to it we do got the bc short sleeve top this one basically got a little dinosaur on it with supreme bc on under it this one comes in like five colors honestly not my favorite tea by any means so i'm gonna decide to sleep on this one too i don't think there's anything too extravagant in this drop list this supreme bc top gotta go bro this one ain't for me so <sighs> I'm gonna steer away, bro. Let me know if y'all gonna be copping this shit in the comments. For me, it's a dub. We also do got the Shop Small Box Crew Neck. This shit deadass come in every color under the rainbow, bro. Like, we don't need this. For me, this one's a dub off the rip. Literally says 152 Grand Street, Brooklyn, which is one of the stores, if I'm not mistaken, with the little Supreme bogo on top. It's ass. This one's ass, bro. If you're not working at the Supreme store and getting this shit as part of your uniform, you don't need this. I know Sure as hell i don't now we got this paneled half zip pullover this one comes in three different colors you got this gray the olive and then the all black for me that olive with the cream is actually not bad if i were to cop one it probably would be that one it's giving me ralph Lauren vibes with the colorway i don't know why but that's just what it's giving me the other colorways are decent but if i were to cop this i'd probably just get the olive or the black and call it a day we do also have the matching track pants and low-key the same goes with the pants bro i'm kind of fucking with the olive and the black the gray one is giving me gym teacher vibes so i'm not really fucking with that one too much but this is decent you feel me yet at the end of the day i would still say hold your money for a better week or for them lost and found jordan ones no bullshit we got these work pants y'all know how i feel about the pants typically these are whatever to me they come in six different colorways and i wouldn't buy none of these shits there's this quilted linen camp cap this your grandmother's comforter joint right here i feel like the camp cap we got last week or two weeks ago way better than this shit and i'm assuming there's way better camp caps coming for me this one's just not doing it i do kind of like the tan colorway because it reminds me of this fitted right here but camp cap with the quiltiness is not cutting it damn bro this week's kind of mid i'm not even gonna lie this layered hooded long sleeve top basically a shirt on a shirt with a hoodie on it comes in four different colorways for me the beef and brock is probably the best one you got the cream with the olive kind of colors on it 
it. Then you got that Supreme Spell Out on the sleeves. That one's not too bad, but at the end of the day, a shirt with a hood on it over another shirt, it's just too much, bro. Just too much, for real. To match the corduroy camp cap, you got the corduroy button-up shirt. This one comes in three colors. This burgundy-ish red color, blue one, and then the black one. To be honest, I'd cop this shit before the camp cap. I feel like you could wear this as a shacket looking ass. Probably still not even buy this shit, but it definitely looks better than the camp cap in my opinion at least. Yo, this week is ass, bro. What the f is going on? We got this kanji Yankees leather jacket. This one comes in three colors. You got the Yankees logo with some letters under it. Then on the back, you got this big ass Japanese letter. If it's Japanese, I don't really know. Then you got the Supreme logo under it. For me, the jacket is not really doing it either, bro. Like I don't really f with this shit at all. The only kanji thing I'm fucking with is actually the balaclava. Besides that, everything else in that little collection they got going on is just cheeks. This jacket included. Next, we got the Yankees kanji fitted. This one got Yankees logos all over it. I know y'all remember them fitteds from back in the day with like fucking Yankees logos everywhere they could find a space for it. They trying to resuscitate that shit right here, bro. They got Yankees logos everywhere with the little symbols going on. Like, we, nah, 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 nah. We good on that shit. We're actually getting to the end of this drop list. There's a lot of items, but I'm low key breezing through it because I don't really fuck with this shit at all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This Demon Raglan long sleeve, I have to say nothing about this. Just the name in itself speaks for itself. I'm gonna leave that energy away from me, you feel me? That's not the vibe we on on this side. We good on that shit. Then there's the kanji hooded sweatshirt. This one comes in like four colors, if I'm not mistaken. This might be one of my favorite pieces out of the Supreme kanji Yankees shit. And I still wouldn't buy this shit. It has this big ass Yankees logo on the front. Big ass Yankee patch on the side of the head. Kanji logos everywhere. Supreme New York on the back. Come on, bro. Like, we, we could do better. We could do better, for real. Like, nah, nah, we good. I'm a Yankees fan, you feel me? From birth. But I don't just buy anything because it has a Yankees logo go on it so this shit gonna stay right there bro in all colors we got the matching sweatpants to the hoodie same shit different apparel honestly i think i'd buy the sweatpants before the hoodie when you don't got shit to say just don't say nothing and i think that's exactly what i'm gonna do bro if these are something you're into by any means my people you should have no trouble buying these that's all i'm gonna say we got the tassel beanie bro i don't know why as soon as i said tassel all i'm thinking is about big black from rob derdick and the nipple tassel you know what i'm talking about if you're from the 90s mtv nipple tassel big black that's all i'm thinking Thinking, and I would never buy this beanie just because of that alone. And if you thought you had enough quiltiness this week, you had it twisted. Because the last piece on this drop list is the quilted crusher. Brother, we good on this shit right here. This one comes in five different colorways. I don't know which one's worse. You got like this tan one, the minty one, a navy one, this reddish color. And there's 72 people that thumbs this shit up right here. Shit is terrible, bro. I'd never spend my money on that. But hey, it's dropped and somebody gonna buy that shit. For me, if I were to cop anything this week, it would probably be the kanji balaclava, that radio if it's under a hundred or around a hundred. Low key, the rocket sweater is probably my favorite piece of clothing this week. We still haven't seen the team's tee. And besides that, most of the shit is dookie. That jacket in the olive color isn't that bad. And the rest of this shit, flush it down the toilet, bro. Get it out of here. But as you're flushing this drop list down the toilet, go to the top of the description and click that link to go follow one dot nori on instagram my brand is coming soon and i'm just trying to get a little following on there so i can start preparing the news for y'all and dropping some more content based around the brand i'm hella excited so please stay tuned i promise you won't regret it and with all that being said leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel let me know if you're gonna buy anything this week or are you saving your money for the lost and found jordan one shit i know i am bro i don't need to spend no money this week there's too much lovely sneaker releases on the way for me to throw my money at supreme so we gonna be a high on this week but let me know what y'all gonna be copping if you are and hey i might change my mind who knows i might buy the tea that's coming out i don't know but with all that being said i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace stay up and i'm out